On to question 4B, which looks like a uh, standard SUVAT acceleration question. So a car accelerates from rest, rest meaning 0 metres per second, accelerates from rest at 2.5 metres per second squared, travels with a constant velocity of 90 kilometres an hour for a bit, and then it decelerates at 3 metres per second before coming to rest. So there's three parts to this. It accelerates, it goes along at 90 for a bit, it then decelerates to 3. If the total distance travelled is 500 metres, calculate the distance travelled during the constant velocity stage. OK, so let's draw some diagrams. The car accelerates from rest, so let's do this first part. as a, um, a situation, right, okay, so we've got a, a car modelled as a brick. Not too dissimilar from my real car. It starts off, so it has a U of zero, and it ends up going at 90 kilometers per hour, which is not a lot of use to us. So that's 90,000 meters per hour, or 90,000 meters per second. We divide it by 60, wouldn't we? 60, oh no, 60 minutes in an hour. That'd be 90,000 divided by 60 gives us. One thousand five hundred meters per minute divided by sixty to get it in seconds. Twenty five meters per second. It has an acceleration to our arrowheads. It has an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second. So the trick with these questions is just to keep calm and take each one in turn. If you start trying to deal with the whole thing at once, it will get difficult. So what have I got? Let's write these out in sequence. We've got u is zero. We've got A is equal to 2.5. T, we're not given. V, we know is 25. S, we don't know. Okay. So, if you're not sure, you could work out T and you could work out S. Now, from looking at this, it looks, seems to be that they give you the total distance travelled is 500 metres. So if we knew the distance travelled of this section, and the distance travelled of the last section, we can work out the constant velocity distance and then we can go from there. Um, so then, let us calculate S. So, we've got s equals ut plus a half at squared. That involves s, but that's no use to us because we've got t's in and we don't know t. So how about v squared equals u squared plus 2as? That looks more like. So we'll have 25 squared equals u, which is 0 plus 2 times acceleration, 5, 2 times 2.5, 5, 5s. Five I'll just plug the numbers in there to get that. So s is going to be equal to 225, 25 squared, divided by 5, Uh, 
that's why I'm not allowed to do mental arithmetic. 625 divided by 5 is 125. Hundred and twenty five meters is the first section. Okay. So it goes along at ninety for a bit, then it decelerates at three meters per second before coming to rest. So this is the acceleration case. And this is the deceleration case. So This thing is wazzing along at 25 meters per second before it starts accelerating. And that's uh, that'd be you then, wouldn't it? When it comes to a rest, before, before coming to rest, V would equal to zero. And it's deceleration, which is negative, remember. So this decelerating, you get minus a. a is going to equal to minus 3. Yeah, minus 3. So we'll do the same again. So u is equal to 25. v is equal to 0. a is equal to minus 3. Uh, t, we don't know and I don't think we're interested in, is the s, the distance or the displacement from that starting position that we're interested in. So what links this? Well, it's going to be the same again, isn't it? It's going to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So 0 squared is 0. u squared, well, we found out that was 625, not 225, plus 2 times a, 2 times minus 3, is minus 6, minus 6s. So I'm going to take that over here. So I'm going to have 6s is equal to 625. So I have s is equal to 625 divided by 6. So s is equal to 104. Point one six meters. So when we talked about the question in the first place, we said it accelerated for a bit on our little axis. The thing accelerated, went along for a bit at constant speed. And then decelerated, so it we had three stages. So we know that this first stage is 125 meters. We know the last stage is 104. And the question tells us that the whole distance here is 500. So we can say that our distance traveled, distance during constant velocity stage is going to be equal to 500 minus 125 minus 104.16 and that's equal to 270 meters it would seem 270.84 meters no less moment of truth 200 what do we say 270.84 270.8 thank you very much six marks that's not too bad provided you can just keep calm enough to to take a step back rather than jumping straight in because our usual method is draw a diagram write the numbers down straight away deal with what it is later with with these constant acceleration questions 
it's worth just working out what the different stages of the journey are. Because if you know that, you can work out all the U's and the A's and the SUVATs for each stage of that journey. Practice the tutorials and you should be okay. If nothing else, if you can draw a free body diagram like this, state your variables and do some SUVAT wrangling of some kind, you'll pick up a good portion of the marks. So that concludes 4B. I'll do 4C as a separate one, as it appears to be something that you, I have seen as a 15-20 marker in previous exams. Tough question.